Hi, this is Rob Warlow from Business Loan Services. Well, the government on Monday announced an extension to the loan application deadline for C-bills and bounce-back loans. Previously, applications had to be in by the 30th of November, and this has now been extended to the end of January. So you've got an additional two months in which to get your applications in. Now, this is against the backdrop, of course, of new lockdowns and a realisation on behalf of the government that businesses are still now going to be in need of additional finance and cash flow support, hence the extension. Um, there's been one important change to the bounce back loan scheme. Under the scheme, you could apply for a maximum of 25% of your turnover up to a maximum of £50,000 loan. Now, there are many firms out there who didn't take out their full allocation because when they first applied, they didn't think that we'd still be in this position as we approach the end of this year. So with circumstances continuing to change, you now feel you may have to apply for more. So what the government has allowed you to do now from next week, you can go to your lender and apply for a top up if you didn't previously take your full application. So it may release an extra 10, 15 or 20,000 pounds, which could be a life Lifeline and allow you to continue trading. So good kind of concession there on behalf of the government. However, two things I want you to be aware of. First of all, over the many last couple of bulletins um, that I've been doing every week in my business finance bulletin, I've been highlighting the fact that there are concerns by many business groups about the level of unsustainable debt that businesses are taking on. The last figures from HM Treasury show that approximately £62 billion has been borrowed by businesses under these various schemes. And there's concern is, you know, are we building a debt bubble that businesses won't be able to pay back? So my kind of appeal to you is, if you are thinking of applying for a Siebel's for the first time or a top up to your bounce back loan, think carefully. Are you just digging a bigger hole for yourself? Are you kind of just delaying the inevitable, kicking that proverbial can down the road? Just be mindful. Sit down perhaps with your accountant or perhaps even take advice from an insolvency practitioner and ask them, am I doing the right thing by taking more debt on? Think very carefully about this. The second point I want to be aware of is the definition of wrongful trading. Now, wrongful trading is where you knowingly enter into a commitment on behalf of your company, where you know that the chances of you being able to fulfill that commitment are low or next to zero. Now, back in the summer, the government didn't want to kind of prevent businesses from applying for finance, even though they were technically in trouble. So they lifted this definition of wrongful trading. And that was um, expiring on the 30th of September. Now, as I record this, that definition is still now in place. There's no new extension. So if you are entering into this debt and you knowingly know that you cannot pay it back, then you could be accused of wrongful trading. Just something to bear in mind. Chances of that happening, pretty slim, but it is there. You need to make sure you're making the right decision for your business. And it goes back to this first point I made about taking on debt, making it really unsustainable for you to pay back. So two things to think about there. So some good news from the government, but please do take appropriate advice before you take this new debt on. Who knows where we're going to be in 2021? You need to make sure you're making the right decisions.